And like we said earlier on, um, we said we would be having an expert right here with us. And uh, this is definitely the time. I know a lot of you out there uh, who are having a view this uh, beautiful morning have been uh, uh, salivating or rather salivating. Uh, yeah, it depends on how you actually got that word. Um, licking your lips, waiting for this particular moment. Sure, the moment is here. And um, hmm, to make the issue more around it we have right here a lot of you are actually waiting for me okay we have right here dr nasir sani ajoge that is director kaduna polytechnic open distance and flexible e-learning you're welcome thank you <laughs> welcome sir thank you all right now he will give us further insight into the operations of distance learning in our educational system all right now let's go this way in um what kind of situation is distance learning the preferred choice for a uh, candidate seeking education thank you very much for having me in this uh, wonderful program from um, the analysis you have given it is um, quite obvious that distance learning is not new it is something that has been coming you know from century centuries you know before now and it's just that the advent of technology has further you know boosted the way distance education is run uh, going to your question of um, uh, the situation that um, make candidate prefer distance learning to conventional learning uh, method okay sorry before before you proceed yeah. um first of all um i think the viewer out there would love to know what distance learning is yes. before we we move into, into this yes okay. so let's first of all go with that distance education or distance learning is any form of education or any form of le learning that the student and the teacher is not confined in the classroom environment or you must not be in the same geographic key, geographical location before learning takes place so you can be in your comfort zone and comfort be zone and mm. be learning be somewhere far away from where your teacher is or from where the learning material is and you can still learn any form of education of such is called a distance learning or a distance education so now back to our question in what kind of situation is distance learning um, the preferred choice for a candidate seeking education okay um if you look at um situation today everybody want to learn everybody want to have education it's not like before that it is for the privileged few no so because distance education has removed this geographical restriction People far away will want to have education or cert certificate from insti institution where they are not close to. This is one of the uh, key issue where people prefer distance education. For example, somebody in um, Lagos State may want to have a Cardinal Polytechnic certificate. Ordinarily, it would have been difficult, but with distance education. He can be there in Lagos, in Calabar, in Adamawa, and still study in Cardinal Polytechnic and obtain the same Cardinal Polytechnic certificate. So, uh, working class, those who are being engaged in their various places of work that have no time for conventional study, mm. where they will have to be in campus for on campus study, mm. they will prefer this type of uh, okay uh, i was uh, i was um, definitely coming into that if mm. um uh, uh, could we also look at convenience as a reason yes for yes convenience yeah. yes convenience for example uh the the married people like i mean uh, i want to talk about the women folk that ordinarily their domestic affair will not allow them to join in the you know campus activity will definitely be convenient studying at home we have a number of them in our in our program you know uh, nursing mothers so who will have to be you know tying their babies at the back and be running her task jumping from one uh, hall to the other to 
attend to their lectures. We take, you know, uh, distance education or e-learning education, as we call it now, they can be in the confines of their room and uh, be studying, you know, still obtain the same certificate that they have obtained in the campus. So these are the you know, various uh, reasons why candidates prefer this type of education to the conventional education that we are used to. Mm. So comparatively speaking, mm. how would you describe the composition of students that enroll in your program? Okay. At a ratio of a male to female, the old and the young, and then the employed to the unemployed? Comparatively, um, in terms of uh, ratio of male to female, mm. um, actually this is our second session. In our first session, we have number of male or uh, the percentage of male to female not too far, but the male still outnumber the female. I can say in the ratio, of, I mean, 41 to 59 in our first year. But by this second admission, we have the female coming up. It's almost 50 50. If we have like ratio 48 to 52, it's almost, you know, it's almost uh, the same. yeah, same. So that is in terms of uh, gender mm -hmm. acceptability of the pro program. program. So the female now, they are coming up seriously, mm -hmm. you know, accepting the program. And I believe in the next five years, we will have more female yeah. in our program than, than the male. In terms of the old and the young, this is a program mostly meant for matured people. So if you look at it, we say, okay, married women, working class, people that are far away and what have you. These are the people that have, you know, the right to their own decision. So most of these people are matured people. So we have in the ratio maybe 60% to 40%, you know, in favor of the matured people, the mature. adult, taking into this program than the younger ones. So as for working class and the unemployed. So if we take working class to mean government work, non-government, self-employed, and as 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 a working class then we have that that one also more than the uh, the unemployed so it, it should be in the ratio of 70 to 30 which means about uh, 70 people 70 percent of the people in our program are employed it's not because of the fee that is too you know humongous for the non-employed it's just because of the convenience as we talk about mm -hmm. so most of the people here they are employed people that are restricted by the nature of their jobs and uh, what have you so that's why we have men and business people business people then military servicemen you know police and what have you these are people that move up and down yes. they cannot really stay in one place and to engage uh, here so that was why we have many servicemen especially these people fighting fighting the war in the northwest, the northeast, we have many of them in our program. Okay. So even during the critical time of their fight, fighting, so what they do is, even if they don't have service wherever they are, anytime they have opportunity where they service, they just download all the le lecture material and the the the, 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 the lectures that have been given and go back to wherever they are and uh, they study. It's only during the examination that we need to see them. All so right, now, Okay, now, um, you have another question? Mm. No, okay, on. okay. Now, let's yeah. build it up from um, what you just said. Okay. Um, uh, fr taking it from the angle of, um, uh, first of all, convenience, yes. but then let's also look at it, uh, the attraction. Okay. It actually attracts um, the working class. Yes. Because it affords them the opportunity to still um, focus on their day-to-day -day activities. Yes. And just yes. like you said right now, um, you can just go download all the lecture materials mm. and what have you, and mm. then mm. at your convenient time, you just sit down and then you, mm. you study you it. Yeah. Now, because of this convenience, how the people or the viewer right now would love to know possibly maybe he wants also to partake in this particular program the distance learning he would want to know since um it att attract the working class how is the tuition feel like is it on the high or on the low the as far as i can speak for Kanna polytechnic you know as far as our program is concerned in Kanna polytechnic it is highly affordable Okay. Because uh, when we started this program, uh, the management, they, you know, sat down and said, look, the essence of setting the institution in the first place, that's Capoli, mm -hmm. is for the middle to lower class people. 
So if we have to consider the cost of running this program and we want to, you know, uh, put the fee like that, then we are going to deny a lot of people. And the management said, okay, let it just flow the way like all our part-time program flow. As far as our program is concerned, Catpoli is not on the high side. It's averagely almost the same amount with what the evening a part-time program you know uh, is we have um apart from the program like the hnd program where you see many of the senior people are we also have the nd program we are running the nd program and you have very very young people after they are jammed they feel that they want to come to Oldfell. so why you want to come to Oldfell? i want to go to Oldfell. i'll study and still look for another place to either to to go and uh, and learn skill or to go and uh, and look for other job to support my family mm. young people small small boys and girls they are coming to Oldfield because of that so and then most of them will tell you that they are paying their fee themselves if it is that high they will not have been they will not be able to pay you know like the, the way they, uh, if, I, if i must uh, give analysis of how our fee is there is how we split our fee in a way that is also convenient and flexible for our students. Once you get admission into our program, there is a ma mandatory, what I mean, fee we call management fee. These are a combination of fee from uh, like uh, uh, the laboratory fee, examination fee, ID card, uh, internet fee, all this we combine it together, we call it management fee. This is just 30,000 naira. And this 30,000 naira, you pay it per session. So, whether you are uh, admitted for HND program or ND program, you pay the same amount of money. Then, after this, the only fee you pay is what we call cost fee. For HND people, for every cost you take, you will be, you know, uh, required to pay 5,000 naira per cost you register. For National Diploma ND, they will be paying 3,000. Because we know that the younger ones are the ones at this low, lower level. Mm -hmm. They are paying 3,000 naira per course they choose to register. But because of the flexibility of our program, you are not mandated to pay all at the same time. The only one that is mandated is that 30,000. 30,000, even if you take a child to nursery school, you pay more than 30,000. <laughs> Talk less of uh, a, I mean, a higher institution. Mm -hmm. So, the it is, it is out of this 5,000 you are paying per course that will give you cost material, which we call costware, which means you are not going to buy book again, you are not going to buy handout again, nobody will sell any electronic material to you again. Everything has been developed. We have developed everything before we commence the program. So it is in that, in that 5,000 you pay at the HND level or 3,000 you are paying at ND le level that reverse everything for you. So, if you comparatively, somebody will ask about cost. If you look at it at the end of the day, you will find out that this program is far cheaper than even the regular program. Okay, if you look at it, um, you'd realize that it's far cheaper mm. than even the regular problem, uh, program. Mm -hmm. But then, now, let's also come back to duration and uh, a method of learning. Okay. When we talk about the e-learning or distance uh, learning comparing it to the conventional education yeah how would you yeah duration as i uh, it's because i i should, should focus mostly, uh, mostly on my own program on our yeah. program in Karnapo technique every national diploma progr program is supposed to be two sessions mostly of 18 week mm. i mean 18 months or we can call it two years is the same thing that is applicable to our program at uh, Woodfell. National Diploma is two sessions of, uh, that is two years, if you want to say, but it's not up to 12 calendar months, you know. The same thing with uh, HND is also of uh, two sessions, that is 18 months. But I may even say our program is faster or will be faster than the regular program because there is nothing like um, strike action that will affect our program. Whether there is national strike or there is local strike, it doesn't affect our program. We go on. 
apart from this from this year we are considering you know, running three semesters in a year if we are running three semesters in a year whereas conventional program run two semester semesters in a year highest in about 14 months we are done with our program mm. with a national diploma program or a higher national diploma pro program that will have taken a conventional program in a good day 18 months but because in a bad day sometimes they, they may spend about 36 months do it doing a 18 month program so in our own maximum will be that 18 months but this year we are considering to run three semesters in a year Hmm. Which means uh, if a student take for example start this January by next year March, you should finish. Yeah. Okay, director of um, uh, Kaduna Polytechnic, open distance and flexible uh, flexible e learning, Otfel. Yeah, that's it. In case you've been hearing him uh, pronounce Otfel, mm. that's it. That's it. It's actually open distance and flex uh, flexible mm. e learning. E -learning. Mm. Oh, you have another question for him? Yes, I okay. do. You know, talking about that strike, that's what most people want to hear that there is no strike. You know, mm. you go to school and then you graduate when you're supposed to graduate. Mm. So, we want to find out um, maybe uh, there are success stories that you could share with us that are from within Nigeria or even outside Nigeria. Yes. Could act as a model. Yeah, well, one of our success stories actually, when we started this program, it took us a lot of time to communicate the program to people for them to even understand what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. They didn't believe. But just few people believe in us and they started the program with us. Before you know what is happening, uh, people were surprised when the last week, because we conducted our third semester ex exam, uh, uh, it ended just last week, the number of students that came all over the country, students came from Calabar, from Lagos, from uh, Ibadan, from wherever. They came to Kaduna to write the exam because the exam is on campus, whereas the lecture is online. Yeah. So, just as we started and students begin to see that there is no advantage in this one in terms of cost, convenience, and flexibility. Mm. You will find students from the regular program converting to old fell, <laughs> from the really part time program converting to old fell. Especially like uh, most sort of our students running the evening program, people people from uh, working working class from Abuja and what have you. So because it's evening program, practically most of them have to, to come every day because it's an everyday program. Just that it's in the evening, every day and weekend they have to after you know going to work in the morning, running to the uh, to the train station or the, the road mm -hmm. to come for lecture. So as soon as they discover Ufad is here, they are moving in groups from evening, even the regular program. Young people, not even old people, they are leaving the regular program to old fell. One of the reasons is this our flexibility. Our program is just so flexible. Take for example, in a regular program, if you pass a course, mm -hmm. assume you have a D in a course, that is final. That is the end you mm -hmm. have gone. But in old fell, even if you have a C in a course, mm -hmm. And you believe you can have a in in that course by writing it again, mm. we will allow you to write it. Mm. Give you another opportunity. Yes. <laughs> so in, the, in that case, <laughs> every student can graduate with, with any grade he or she wants. So how many times would I be um, <laughs> permitted to as write? many times yeah. as possible? So by the time I write and I have C, yes. I can still request to write. You can still request have to write. C, I so can still request to write. In that a. case, you see that. You, your grade can you can improve your grade up, up to having a um, um, first class. Hmm. Wow! Provided you are not in a hurry to go. <laughs> yes. If you are in a hurry, you take what is available. Yes, but if you are not in a hurry, you are allowed to rewrite it to to have a better grade. Hmm. So this is the advantage of our program that you see some of our students that are in regular program having no grade, they decided to move to old fell. As they are moving to offer, they come with their luggage. All the courses they have passed, they come with it. We will accept them. You can even migrate from other institutions, not to look at Poly. Hmm. If you are migrating from other institutions, it's just for you to build your transcript. Hmm. But if you are migrating from CAT Poly, we will just um, fill a migration form. You will, will take you. They will now write to your department all the courses that you have passed. 
they will send it to us. The one you have failed, you will write, write it with us in note file. Even the one you have passed over there that you believe you didn't pass very well, mm. you will register them in note file and you will write them. There is second chance. Yes, yeah, second, third, fourth chance. <laughs> so because of this, you see some of the students, they are just moving. Mm. And all these servicemen, they are moving. Because you see, these servicemen, you pity them, some of them, they start program a two years program maybe at the last semester they are transferred from Kaduna to elsewhere they will have to abandon it that's true Inside so we have so many of those experiences very sad experience but now with Kad with Oldfell anywhere they are all right the insightful information <laughs> right there mm. you've heard from uh, Dr. Nasser Sani Ajoge talking about director Kaduna Polytechnic open distance and flexible E-learning. E uh, thank you very much um, uh, for the insightful uh, uh, information given to us right here. Not just us. Uh, well, I have uh, really benefited from this, we I have. must say. Mm. <laughs> we have. Mm. Thank you very much, sir, for obliging us this thank privilege. You. Thank you for the, uh, for the invitation. Uh, I appreciate it.